As per usual, if you haven't seen the last episode, check in the top right corner of your screen to view it. Otherwise, let's get into the roundup. There was a new Sandbox blog post talking about input actions, which I covered in a previous roundup, but this blog post is a little more special as it shows Sandbox having full controller support in action and also showing that there's full motion gyro control support too for games in Sandbox, which is beyond awesome. Showing off more cool things from the community, a VHS filter add-on has been added to Sandbox by creator Vandercat allowing you to turn all your games into an old 80s or 90s feel. Or if you're into analog horror, you can do that too. This supports basically any game mode in Sandbox and seems to have interlacing coming soon as well too. Gary has mentioned a new possible future method for people looking to get access to Sandbox soon. He has mentioned that he was going to add invites and that current members of the developer preview will get invite codes and be able to invite others and their friends. It hasn't been mentioned yet as to how many invites there would be for each person, but there was also another method that Gary had said he would possibly do back on May 17th of this year, stating that, I think to give more keys next time, we'll either do invite allocations or give them out via Gmod. So it seems like the allocating invites via developers and people who currently have access to Sandbox early will be the chosen method to get more people involved this time around. But who knows if Gary might actually add this within Gary's mod as well too. Of course, it has been mentioned for those currently still wanting to get access, the only method right now is by making an application on the form thread on Facepunch's website. Lily from Quata Collective has issued an update to her map remake of Construct. I previously have covered this map in one of my videos and it's nice to see that there has been some updates to this map, which I'll be covering in the future of course when it's officially finished. A new tool for the tool gun named Blobs has been shown off by Facepunch dev Zix showing the amazing new and weird method of just creating huge blobs in 3D space where you can even create holes in cave-like structures out of this weird new tool. It'll be interesting to see what exactly people will do when they have the chance to mess around with the blob tool when playing in the sandbox game mode itself. And it's also interesting to see that there's even new tools and things coming to the new and improved sandbox game mode for the future. Dan has been going absolutely crazy with creating two new variant versions of Terry. The first one is Zombie Terry, which looks absolutely terrifying. There's another version of Zombie Terry featuring an open mouth that just looks even more so cursed than the first one. And the second variant is the buff Terry. Now I'm not sure about you, but this Terry is straight yoked out of its mind. And I'm not really sure how to feel about it, but it's interesting to see more on how many other different versions of Terry there possibly can be, while also keeping them looking disturbing and also creepy too. That's all we have for this roundup. Of course, if you want to see more Sandbox content, check out the video on screen talking about Team Fortress Source 2's new update and playtest. Otherwise, thank you for watching.